today's video, we are going to talk about exactly what an RSI indicator is and how you can use it to your advantage to become a better trader. And it starts right now. All that I ask is that you smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. So what is the RSI indicator? Well, an RSI indicator is a technical indicator used in a momentum trading that measures the speed and magnitude of a security's recent price changes. Now, we're gonna give an example of this in just a minute, and we're gonna share the key takeaways. We're not gonna read all this article, but I thought it was important to explain why an RSI is important. Now, traders like you and I can use an RSI to predict price behavior of a security, it can help traders validate trends and trend reversals. It can point out to overbought and oversold securities and those levels. It can provide short-term traders with buy and sell signals. And it's also a technical indicator that can be used with others to support trading strategies. So now let's go over to a quick example and then we're gonna jump into our Weeble account and show you a real life example using Tesla as our um, stock of choice. So now, as you can see here, right out of Investopedia, there is a chart showing signs of it going up and it's starting to pull back and then going up again. Now, this is our main chart. This is exactly what a chart would look like. And this is exactly what it looks like on our Weeble using a real life example. So just bear with me for a second. The RSI is gonna give you a better understanding of what is overbought or what is oversold. Now, obviously, if it's in the middle, you can assume that it is at fair value. So again, you could use that candy bar analogy, $1 being uh, oversold, $3 being overbought, basically a supply and demand, and uh, fair value would be $2, right? Now, again, that's just another kind of example to put into this. Now, the, over, the RSI is going to tell us that this is overbought now. Now, it's been overbought a couple of times. It was overbought at this period here and here. So it pulled back a little bit on this chart, right? And you can see this very heavy pullback. It was very heavy pullback here. Now it consolidated in this area and that was in a fair value range. Now it came up again. It got into those overbought areas right here at that 70% or greater. And then it pulled back again when it reached those overbought levels right here, pulling back. Now, as you can see, this very last part here, it pushed up and then it sold off very aggressively into these oversold levels, indicating for the very first time since April to November that this company was oversold, meaning that a lot of sellers sold their positions and now they're in a buy range area because there's an opportunity to buy it at a very cheap price this company is now oversold or overextended into that good buy range area or discounted area and as you can see they kind of consolidated and started pushing up thus entering into that overbought territory again if it continues to rise back to those 150 levels now with all that said Let's use a real life example like Tesla using the Webull platform and on the 30 minute time frame for Tesla. Now, if you want more information on how you can sign up for this brokerage, or even if you are signed up already, maybe set up your platform to look exactly like mine to make it easier to trade, then definitely check out our Learn to Earn Lesson Library, which is free. It's a uh, short amount of videos to help you get started setting this brokerage account up. And there's some bonus videos in there to help get you started on actually day trading using some really simple traders checklist criteria uh, that'll help you get started. So definitely check it out. Second, um, third link in the description uh, below. So definitely check that out. Anyways, now back to it, Tesla. Okay, real life example of what an RSI is. As you can see, I have my RSI indicator down here. I have a MACD indicator too, and I will be doing a video on that as well, or should have a video on that already. 
Um, the RSI is right here. Now, when it gets above this 70 range, these little yellow dotted lines, that is showing clear signs of it being overbought. Now, just because it's overbought doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to sell off immediately. As you can see here, it's actually stayed in that overbought territory above the 70 or greater mark for an entire day before finally deciding to sell off. Now, when it did finally sell off, it sold off aggressively right here, showing a downward trend. And when it sold off, the RSI also went down. Now, in this area, showing that, hey, this is now oversold, which is 30 or less. And now it's an oversold company, which can give us a potential to buy this company at a really good price, knowing that, hey, this could potentially go back up to these RSI levels. Now on a bigger scale here, as you can see, this does go up and down very nicely along with the trend, but it doesn't account for some of these huge moves. As you can see here, it went from 234 all the way down to 181, but on the RSI, it went from 70 to 11. So it actually moved very considerably. Anything lower than 30, you know, 25 is considerable. This went down to 11. So extremely oversold, putting a great indication like, hey, this could be a potential area to buy and get a great price point. So I hope all of that really helped you understand the basics of what exactly an RSI is and how you can use it to your advantage to become a better trader. Hope you guys enjoyed this part segment of the Learn to Earn Lesson Library. I will see you all in the next video.